Greetings, Keishlings. Keishmarm here with my live reaction of Mashley, Magic and Muscles, Chapter 47. Okay. Uh, the title is Mash Bernadette and the Selection Exam. Um, okay. Selection to what? <laughs> um, okay, we've got... Oh, I forgot his name. Ortor? Or something? The, the Sand Dude. You've got uh, Macaron here, and we got Mash, and I guess the Orca house has green robes? Okay. Also, I do like that design there on Sandy's back there. The, you know, it's like the, what, the desert cane? So, yeah. Anyway, Black Magic? Oh, he's made a sound shield. Okay, sound shield out of a giant magical note. I, oh, it's being cut. Oh, well. Yeah, that uh, black magic partisan, I think is what it was called, is, uh, yeah, it's super cut and magic because it's powered by the gods. Hmm, <laughs> excuse me. Hmm. Pardon me. Uh, but anyway. So, oh shit, it cleaved through the ground. Okay. And the, like, the smoke is just this black smoke coming off of it. Wait. Is his line getting smaller? Oh, no. Does that mean the more attacks he uses while having the third line that it depletes its power and he has to build up more power for it? Let's see. Ellipses. Oh, and Mash is coming out of his hiding spot. Uh, um, I guess I should say thanks? For what? I was just playing with some bunnies in the forest. Okay. So, you are a fan of bunnies. <laughs> the selection exam is soon. Uh, yep. He doesn't know what that is. I want to know what it is. I've never been good at uh, encouraging people. But, I'll say this. You're embarking on a challenge the likes of which this world has never seen. Nothing good will come of your failure. Wait, is it a selection exam of who will become the next, uh... Divine Visionary? That has to be it. So win and give your challenge meaning. Okay. And it's like, okay. Just remember that. I've got some bunnies to take care of. I knew you liked bunnies. <laughs> okay, well. Are you carrying both of them or just one of them? It's actually a little hard to tell, but uh, Macaron is carrying one of the one of the twins, or both of them, like I said, I can't tell. You're, you poor boys are sloppy. Okay, so they're both there, though. Like I said, it's hard to tell. It's kind of weird. There's like one of them looks like Slender Man. Um, so that's a triple liner. The gigantic wand increases uh, the baseline of his magic power. So the wand it amplifies the power. I thought power amplified the wand okay uh given even a entry-level spell the sheer power of second of magic i w uh would have uh i wouldn't have minded trying out my own second of spell but i had to take care of these boys oh was it maternal instincts are you dude or not <laughs> i'm confused now I guess if it's a dude, I guess we wouldn't know his sexual orientation. Uh, Marguerite uh, should have uh, thought that triple liner's magic was a second of spell. This is all your fault. I'm sorry. No worries. Okay, so one of the, the lackeys is like, you know, just hating the fact that they were worthless in that fight. I believe in saving the best for last. After that, each, uh, after that they spent, ugh, ah, learn to read. 
After that, they each spent the end of semester exam break. I'm still wondering what the selection exam is. I thought maybe that was going to be connected, but no, that's just... Hmm. Ah! Oh my god. Doing as they wished. Three coins. Holy shit. Wait, why does Finn have three coins? After that... Oh, he got them probably from those three. Yeah. And after that, uh, these are the coins we got from Lang. Three per person. Wait, they weren't from Lang. They were from Orca. Or was it because they were sent by Lang to attack MASH? That might have been the reason. Uh, three per person sound good. Oh shit, wait, three per person? Holy hell. Um, so the other... Oh, poor Finn. He's like, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm sorry. And Lance is just watching the fire. Thinking of his sister. I was actually thinking that he was thinking about his sister, but that was going to be a joke. I turned the page and he got damn little locket. Fuck, man. I know you love her and everything, but you, you kind of border on weird territory sometimes. Soon. Wait for me, Anna. Um, is that Dot? It don't look like Dot. I'm too hyped to sleep. I'll check my luggage. Water bottle, handkerchief, bug repellent, tissues, eye drops, stomach medicine, uh, anti-migraine, uh, purgatory. Prerogative? What? Okay. Um, and then Mash is at home with Regro. I heard they discovered you can't use magic. He's just eating. But he got more serious from panel to panel. And you'll be charged with this crime if you don't meet their demands. He sets down his cup. Hmm... I'm sorry, this is my doing. If only I could have given you a normal life. If only I could have provided you, or provided for you better. Rigo, you, you did the best you could. So, you, you don't need to worry. Perhaps done more to help you pass in society. I'm happy. Oh. I've got Pops who always looks out for me. I was able to experience school even if only for a bit. I was blessed with friends. I got it. I got to eat lots of cream puffs. I love Mash's wholesomeness. I'm happy, even though he doesn't really show it. He's a very stoic young man. Thank you, Pops. And Reed grows over there like, well, good. Now come back safe. Okay, what is up with these three things on this pyramid? Um... The path to divine visionary is uh, broadly divided into three stages. The first is coin acquisition. Acquisition. Um, the second is the candidate selection exam. Okay, so that's where they're at now. And the third is the divine visionary elect final exam. Ah. In order to proceed to the second stage, one must have acquired five or more gold coins. Well, that's that was easy. Um... Actually, what's funny is considering that, you know, he just gave three coins to basically all of his friends. They almost reached that requirement already. So, that's kind of funny. Actually, Lance might have enough. I mean, did he have before? I don't remember. <clears throat> or was it ever stated? Anyway, however, due to the Innocent Zero's unexpected prison break, the exam is pushed forward and only three coins are needed... They can all join. Holy shit. Are needed to qualify. More tomato. More tomato. Um, Langdorm. Three gold coins. Okay, I think they all say three gold coins, so I'm not even going to worry about it unless I see one that doesn't. Anyway, Pontorus. Okay, he's got a weird fucking face. Why? Okay, the doopy sign ain't looking too much better. 
but he's from Orcadorm. And then we have Dalb Marks, also from Lang. We have LeBlanc Russell, also from Lang. He looks like a, a mile long stare, dude. We have Max Land from Adler. We have Alrio Morris from Adler. And then we have Dot and Finn, both from Adler. <laughs> they both have, mm, yeah, still three coins. Oh, it's going up from here. Okay. Carpaccio, Lao Yang, Orca with four. Oh, also, your lines are far more intricate. You have like kind of a swirly square one. Magic is the crux of our society. It is everything. Those without magic have no rights. And then Lance from Adler, five coins. And then Marguerite Macron, or Macaron, um, from Orca, five coins. Here we have the magic users who are the pinnacle of this society. And it seems... How many does MASH have? Um... Seems that uh, uh, Marguerite is entering this year, says Walbert. You face a difficult road, Mash Bernadette. And then Mash, Adler, seven coins. The examine or examinees have entered the arena. Okay. That was a fairly straightforward chapter. Um... Just a little cool down period while after the uh, concluding the attack from last chapter. I mean, to be honest, I don't know what I was expecting from that attack. It really, it, I mean, it's on a pretty grand scale and maybe it'll only become more magnificent the more power, you know, that he develops with it. I mean, that was just a single blade, so it cleaving into the earth is still very powerful. Um, but, you know, that's just it. It was just a giant cut. I mean, it still went through that sound shield, but we don't know how powerful that sound shield was, and, you know. So, but yeah. Also, I guess a clarification, or maybe I just forgot from the last time saying that it's like I thought it awoke in the wand but no the wand it, it, it wakes up the magic so yeah it creates the third line maybe it's also reciprocal but it doesn't matter anyway so uh, yeah so that happened the attack was okay we'll probably see more of those as uh, the series progresses and obviously we'll see more people having third lines um probably during this exam actually we might see at least one maybe but uh yeah then with that uh we move over to where you know the exam process the selection exam which is the second stage in the divine visionary process so it's cool that we got to learn that as well. Um, also, I did, I forgot to mention, but I do like the whole bunny conversation with Mash. Like, you know, he, he doesn't really care, but he still cares that someone's looking out for him regardless. And I mean, he appreciates Regro, even though Regro's like, God, I'm trash. I should have done more for you. I'm sorry, my boy. It's like, you did good, pups. You did good. And, you know, kind of deal. So I, I like, I just love their relationship. It, it's so simple and wholesome. But, um, so yeah, now we also know how many gold coins MASH had. It's seven. To be honest, I thought it would be more than that. But, you know, fair enough. And then he gave three coins to everybody else. So I'm guessing, uh, Lance only had two coins prior to that, so fair enough. But still, that's pretty good for the average student regardless. Um, sorry, I'm saying um a lot. I notice it a lot in my videos. But yeah, with that, 
Um, there we go again. <laughs> With that, the exam starts. It's been moved up, and admission is only three gold coins. And guess who has them all? Basically all the main characters. Or most of the main characters. Lemon, not so much, but would have been cool if she was there. We didn't really see any females that I'm aware of, so that kind of sucks. But, you know, what can you do? Maybe we'll get to see more of them, but I doubt it. There seems to be only, you know, about ten of them, which is fine. No sense in overpopulating this. It's supposed to be a more specific, or not a specific, but a more momentous occasion regardless. So, the fact that there's a small, you know, examinee, uh pool makes sense and uh yeah most of these people i don't give a crap about there was a couple of them that had interesting designs the one that has like the weird like square line and then that first one we saw from lang they look the coolest the rest are just kind of derpy or very basic in their designs so we'll have to wait and see but yeah not too bad i do look forward to the next chapter to see how things go i like that mash isn't the only one of you know his friend group that's allowed to enter a little surprising though so that's still cool though and uh yeah anyway let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter anything i missed misunderstood please let me know down below check out my other content See what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below from my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, key shillings. Bye bye.